Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we'll be talking about deer hunting and more specifically the white-tailed deer. If we mention the word deer alone in this video, it will always be referring to the white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer is native to North and South America and can be found in every U.S. state except Alaska and parts of Utah, Nevada, and California. This video will not only go in depth about the appearance and habitat of whitetails, but also harvest and meat yield. Let's get started with the basic appearance, lifestyle, and habitat. White-tailed deer are very common in the United States when white settlers first came, but nearly went extinct in the early 1900s with a population of about 300,000. These deer are quite adaptable though, and now there is an estimated 25 to 30 million deer in the United States and the numbers are rising. Adults can average 2 to 4 feet in height and weigh about 150 to 180 pounds. Most deer can live 2 to 3 years, though some deer have reached ages up to 20 years. 20 years is very rare as most deer do not make it past 3 years of age. Once 3 years of age are reached, a deer has a better chance of living until 10 years, but again there is a drop off after surviving deer hit that age 10. There is a misconception that a deer's home range is always roughly one square mile, but in reality home range's size depend primarily on the quality of habitat and a buck could live his entire life in less than 450 acres or two thirds of a square mile if the habitat is high enough quality. Another common misconception is bucks do not eat during the rut, so hunting over food plots and abundant food sources is not needed. Bucks do in fact eat during the rut, though their appetite is definitely diminished. Food sources such as food plots and crop fields are typically good spots to hunt. Don't forget to check your local regulations before hunting over food sources. Next off, we will be talking about hunting. The most common method for deer hunting is a 30 6 rifle or a 12 gauge for slug hunting from blinds or tree stands. The other typical calibers for hunting deer include 223, 243, 2506, 257, 270, 7 mm, 3030, and 308. A 20 gauge shotgun slug can also be used to hunt deer. Let us know in the comments below what caliber you use and how you use it. Another method for hunting deer is to hunt with a bow. There are approximately 3 million bow hunters in the United States. As a region, the Midwest has the most bow hunters with a staggering 1.3 million hunters. The Northeast has the most per square mile at 3.8. Individually, Pennsylvania has the most bow hunters over all the other states at 339,000 and the most per square mile at 7.6. On average, about 6 million deer are killed each year by hunters. The deer population will double every two years under ideal conditions. The latest estimate suggests that 12 million fawns were born in a year. The states with the largest antlerless deer kills in 2019 to 2020 were Texas with 386,000, Pennsylvania at 226,000, Wisconsin at 152, Michigan with 152, and Missouri with 151. 11% of the total deer harvest was taken on opening day of the primary firearm season of 2019 to 2020. As a region, the Midwest shot the most on opening day at 16%, and Minnesota led the nation at 27% of their deer shot on opening day. That is certainly the place to be on opening day. In the 2017 to 18 season, 41% of hunters shot at least one deer. This was down from 48% in 2011. And this ranged from 12% in Arizona to 69% in South Carolina. Only 15% of hunters shot more than one deer in the 2017 to 18 season. It's important to note success rates are impacted by many factors, including deer density, hunter density, bag limits, antlerless opportunities, and more. Leave a comment below if you got a deer this year, and if so, 
did you get it on opening day and was it a buck or was it a doe? Next we'll be talking about venison yield. A big question for many hunters is if they should shoot a doe or wait for a buck if I want more meat. Hopefully we can shed some light on this question. It appears that does and bucks from similar age classes yield similar amounts of venison. You likely won't see big differences in meat yields. The typical northern whitetail fawn, which includes button bucks, weighs about 55 to 75 pounds field dressed. A healthy doe fawn weighs about 45 to 65 pounds field dressed. Southern fawns weigh less, in fact, sometimes weighing less than 30 pounds field dressed. Yearling bucks, which range from small spikes to basket rack 10 pointers, typically weigh 105 to 125 pounds. Yearling bucks, which range from small spikes to basket rack 10 pointers, typically weigh 105 to 125 pounds. The average mature northern doe will weigh around 105 to 120 pounds field dress. If you want the biggest deer possible this hunting season, Boone and Crockett keeps detailed state and provincial data of more than 17,000 of the biggest whitetails in history. According to Boone and Crockett, Club 6 edition of Records of North American Whitetail Deer, here are the eight states with the most trophy deer. Fourth place is Minnesota with 1,194 trophies and St. Louis County having the most at 102. Third place is Iowa with 1,330 entries and Alamakee County having 60 of those. Number two is Illinois with 1,455 recorded deer. Pike County has the most records out of all of the Illinois counties. Wisconsin has the most recorded record deer with 1,822, and Buffalo County, Wisconsin has 150 of those. Iowa, Kentucky, Missouri, and Kansas come 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, respectively. Thanks again for watching this episode of Outdoor Experiences. If you have any comments, or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. As a note, we do have affiliate links in the description of the equipment that we use and if you'd like to start making your own outdoor videos. Thank you again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.